Hello again, it's Michelle coming to you again just to showcase my artistic abilities. And, um, you know, when I need time to reflect and to relax and, you know, get away from the regular workday and chores and taking care of the day to day business, this is what I do. I come back to where I started years ago. As I was in, I would say, high school in Jamaica, I discovered my artistic abilities. So I started um, pursuing the dream of uh, going to art school once I graduated high school. And that's exactly what I did. And before that, though, I had an art teacher who showed me a brochure from Parsons School of Design. That's one of the prominent art schools here in America. And I set my sights on that. And, you know, funny enough, I went to the school there in Jamaica at the time that was in the 80s. So they didn't offer interior design. I don't think they offer it up to this day. So I just focus my sights on textiles, you know, and fabric printing. When I did art school there, I did my foundation year, did ceramics, did painting, uh, life drawing, what else? Jewelry making, sculpture. I enjoyed sculpture. I really did enjoy sculpture. I remember um, back in the days we didn't have Facebook or we didn't have the iPhone cameras or smartphones, or I just, still have the sculpture that I did printed in my head. I can clearly remember, but I don't have a picture of it. And I enjoyed that sculpture so much. But one of these days, I'm definitely going to be producing a piece of sculpture because I know it's in me still. So saying all of that, I want to share with you a few things and drawings that you haven't seen before past, you know, work that I've done and just give you a snapshot of my little history. You know, when I keep things, it's because I love history. I love art history and I love history. I like the past. I try not to be a hoarder, but I hold on to stuff that means something to me. Tells tells about my history of who I am. So I hold on to stuff and and I find it after 20 years. Oh, yeah, this is what I did 20 years ago. And I look at it now and I say, hey, look at that. So saying all of that, if you look here... You will see all the stuff that I have. And look behind there. You see that? That is a, a pastel drawing that I did years ago. And the lady has her eyes closed. It's just, you know, in deep thoughts. And that was the drawing that I did. It's not a perfect life drawing, but I kept it for some reason. And below it, you will see, this is where I, the package that I mailed off my stuff in when I submitted my work to the Parsons School of Design. It was called the New School for Social Research, and it's a part of the new school as part of Parsons, so I kept things. It's a part of who I am, okay? So, if you were to look everywhere, you'll see traces of me and the work that I did over the years. See, there they are, some of the work that I've done so far, okay? And now I'm gonna share with you some of the work that I have done over the years. As you can see, I think you can see it here. Um, this drawing was inspired by the CN Tower when I visited Canada. And I took a photograph looking up towards it. So this is designs created from that. And this over here. We had to do some perspective practice or perspective drawing. That's 
from 2015 when I went back to school. This is one of the perspective drawing too. Vanishing Point. This is uh, Design Theory. We're thinking of how to lay out the floor pens and all that good stuff. Now this, this one was a little challenging. It's a picture of a kitchen. As you can see here. And the counter, the bar stools and all that. And we had to get it correct. I was having a bit of problem with this. It's not perfect, but it was getting there. Now this is a point drawing as well. So um it it basically has two points from here and here, and then we had to come up with a design from all of that. Yeah. This is similar to that as well. Below the vanishing point and above the vanishing point. All that stuff. Yeah. All that stuff. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. Oh, this was something random. The assignment that they gave us. We look at some type of animal design or whatever and implement it into a building design. So that's what I came up with. <laughs> Looks immature, but that's what it is. That's what it is. No, this is a building, some type of building design that I came up with. I had a type of like Asian theme and I just went with it. So who knows in the future, it could be an actual building. Now this is from the landscape in Toronto, Canada. And I use this picture and from when I took the pictures in Canada and I drew it there as a design so it's not you know it's not perfect but it's a part of the design here i have i traveled on the bridge coming back to florida and one of the bridges that i went across i think this was in jacksonville i used it as a means of creating this particular design you know you see the size of the bridge and all of that and that created this design this concept for this design another asian theme built in there thinking out the process of it you know how it's supposed to look from my thoughts to the paper and this is another thing i was messing with yeah so basically uh, that's a little history of things that i've done and then I did the snap of design years ago on this piece of sheet here in New York. Days when they sold Snapple drink. I don't think it's still being sold. Now this is a drawing from the 80s. This is, um, I don't know if this house is still there. We called it the White House. Um, when we went to Edmund School for the Visual Hearts in Jamaica, that was a Big white building, the smaller building at the front was the cafeteria. The back building, that's where we went to classes for art history. So yeah, this is history for me. That's how I keep my stuff and that's how I tell my history. And then I look back at it when I get an opportunity now and I say, wow, look at that. Now, if you look carefully here, you'll see two post-its. These I did, these little drawings, I went somewhere to do some type of work and I had been sitting there at a desk and I was so bored, I decided to draw some sketches. And that's what became of the sketches. So one day you'll see it in a, a painting, that's an acrylic, um, it might be done in an acrylic painting or oil painting, that's going to be an extra. This is like right out of my head, I did a, a sketch for orchids because I love orchids, so yeah. Another thing here, I was doing a fill-in for a leasing associate because I used to do leasing and um, for offices and stuff. And I just sat there and started to nibble stuff on the paper because I got bored. I just drew stuff, nibbled stuff, nibbled ideas on the piece of paper for the brochure because I got so bored just sitting there waiting for people to talk with. So that's what I did. <laughs> yes. Hello again. It's Michelle B coming to you again, showing you what I do 
and um, and my time that I have left to take care of myself and my emotions and my creativity so I can be a fuller person. So here we go. I'm going to start working some more on this painting here, putting in the colors and make it pop out even more at the top there. Can you see it? Let me see if you can see it there. There we go. That's better. That is better. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be filling in the, the pink. I did some of the orange already. So I'm going to be doing some of the pink areas. So I'm going to be mixing titanium white and the magenta, a little bit of the magenta. So, um, I can get a little pink color at the top there, just next to the orange. Yeah, the orange ribbon. And the colorful ribbon that's going across here. Let's see how I can blend it in to get it to the richness. I think that's a little too much white. And I do need more of the magenta. Let's see here. I need a deeper pink, not red, just a deeper pink. Here we go. Here we go. Hope you all had a good day today, Sunday. Today we got from starting this morning. We had so many tornado warnings here in the southwest, you know, Florida. Tornado warnings. It's unusual. I think it came, I don't know if it had something to do with the weather across the world where there was a tornado or a tsunami or something. I don't know. But it was a crazy morning. Tornado, I was cooking breakfast and tornado warning signals are going off on my phone. Very unusual. But that's what it is. So here I go. This lighting is not the best. But I'm going to try to be as careful as I can to stay within the lines because I don't see well with artificial lighting. And seeing that it's late in the night, it's really um, not an easy thing. But I'll take my time little by little and get it done as best as I can see. Don't see very well, but I will try to stay within the lines. Uh oh, don't try to be perfect, Michelle, but try to do your best. Uh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Steady, steady, steady hands will do it to get the straight lines that I'm looking to get. Here we go. You gotta follow, your eyes have to, when you're doing art or drawing, your eyes have to follow the line. Focus. I got my eyes tested Saturday, so hoping for this. Sorry, I can get my glasses because I can't see very well with this prescription anymore. It's worn out. So, it's time to get the new one. See here. Oh, I am trying to keep the lines as straight as I can. And I'm squinting my eyes a little bit. It's not as straight as I would like it to be. Yeah. Oh, 
that looks brighter. Yeah. Or sumptuous. Yeah, so now I gotta figure out the blue because it's flat. So I'm gonna mix it with something to bring up if it looks too flat. Mix it with maybe. Hmm. Let's see here. I know I have the right blue, but what am I gonna mix it with to get that blue to jump off the. Uh oh. I got a full tube here, but doesn't want to squirt readily so let me take this off and get it directly through here see uh -oh. oops see it's soft inside but somehow it's not coming out why i don't want you to all of a sudden pop out on me okay so it doesn't want to collaborate let me see if there's another one. This is practically a new tube, but for some reason, it's not cooperating. It doesn't want to come out. All right, so let me do a little surgery. On this one, get the top off, and then the rest will be easy, I think, hopefully. There you go. Not really. Okay, so I'm gonna abandon the blue for now because it's soft, it's squishy and soft, but it doesn't want to come out. Hey, I'll move on to the next one because I'm not gonna let you frustrate me at all. Now let's go to the yellow. Maybe yellow will cooperate with me some more. With me better. I'll mix the Put a little yellow with the mint as well, see how it comes out. Okay, I guess nothing is working tonight. I should have checked out these colors. Oh, here's the right one I'm looking for. Got a full tube here. I bet you don't. Yeah, this one squirts right out. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. No messes, no stresses. Cooperation. Okay. My water is getting a little messy here. My paintbrush. Alright. There we go. Alrighty. Well, my yellow. I wish I could get it a little deeper color. That green at the bottom there is dry, so it won't mess with what's on top. But let's see. Still a little too flat. I need some deepness to this yellow. What can I add with this yellow to make it deeper and richer? And pop out from the maple's yellow. No, so it has a little gumption to it, you know. I didn't figure it out yet, but I will soon figure it out. Dry thing on the bottom. Oh, this shouldn't have been there, you know. I should have made it a longer one to dry so. Yeah, it's so dry through. Okay. I have to work on that one some more. This is for sure, but it's too flat, so I'm going to mess with right here. It's more like a fuchsia color. Some nice lines right here. 
And I want the magenta. Maybe I should just get it straight out of the tube. Let me put it on here first. Uh oh, it's not magenta, it's metallic. Where is my magenta? Look, this is the magenta. It's more like a future color. together to get a richer vibrant color see metallic red and magenta to quiet in here. I need to sing a song. Oops, it's going out the way there. Art is an expression of who you are. It's another language that you speak, you design, you draw, when you paint. It's speaking to somebody when they look at it, but not by dialogue, with speech dialogue, but by the visual. It's a visual way of talking and telling someone your story. And that exactly what I'm doing here. I'm speaking to you in a different language. When you view the art or someone else's art, they are telling you a story. It's just like when you write a story and someone reads it. That's a different language. When you paint and you draw and someone sees it, you're speaking to them in another language and they can interpret it a different way from how you interpret it or how you perceived it when you drew it. So it's, it's, it's great. Hey, we all have our own DNAs. Everyone has a different DNA, so we can't be all alike. It would be a boring world. Very boring, you know. If we if we were all cloned to look like each, everyone looks like each other. How boring that would be! Pretty boring. So you gotta do things and just be, just be you. Yeah, that's how we are created, you know. God is not a boring God. He's actually a fun God, yeah? He enjoys us being happy. He enjoys us. He gave us creativity. He gave us skills and gifts and talents. Singing, dancing, drawing, you know? And he gets entertained. And he smiles when he sees you doing what you like and love doing it and doing it and being happy and being enjoyable. So, hey, no shame in your game. No shame in your game. Yeah. Every good gift comes from God. 
for the Father above. Not from the dark. Not from Satan. It comes from oh, the Lord. It comes from the Lord. He blesses us and he smiles when he sees us enjoy the gifts that he gave to us. Just remember that. Okay. I'm moving along very slowly and carefully because the lighting, there's no sunlight outside anymore. And the lighting is not so good and these glasses are not doing me much service anymore. So I'm going to leave the top there because I'm not getting the right color of the blue that I need. I need these colors to dry before I start blending the colors between so they don't this doesn't become green because they start flowing into each other. So I'm going to leave that part alone, come back to that part, and then focus on here at the bottom. Okay? So, here we go. I will be leaving you for today, but just remember, stay well, stay blessed, be who you are, be happy in your own skin, enjoy your life, and be thankful for each and every day whether it's a good circumstance or bad circumstance, sometimes bad circumstance happen for us to learn, to grow, and to be better, a better version of ourselves. So don't cry about, you know, we're human, so we get emotional, but when bad things happen, just breathe slowly, take your time, reflect. Most of all, give thanks. You know, in every situation, give thanks. So I'll see you again this week, I promise. Love you all. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and we shall be, we'll be back with you again and showing you more. Have a great week and be blessed.